Hello guys, welcome back to another video and today in this video I am just doing an update video of how to root the latest firmware that is a stable version 4.1.5 on both uh, OnePlus 3 and OnePlus 3T. So many of my users uh, were complaining that they were getting boot loops on their uh, beta version because uh, they were using super user uh, 2.7 beta was an outdated super user so in this we will be using the latest uh, super user and to download that you can check the description below and if you guys are still not rooted or your device is still logged i have mentioned one more video in the description below that will tell you how to unlock your device and how to root your device but you in that you have to change the super user file which i'll be showing you now just install that super user file because 4.1.5 does not support uh, the old super user that was 2.79 which was initially uh, supported in old firmwares but in the latest firmware that is 4.1.5 you have to use super user 2.8 so guys uh, you can see my device is running on 4.1.5 and and the phone name is oneplus 3 so for that make sure you have twrp recovery installed if you doesn't have twrp recovery installed i have also mentioned the link in the description below you can download from there and follow the other video which i have mentioned in the description to install TWRP recovery. So right now I am using TWRP recovery and I will be showing you how to root the device. So first what I will do is I will download the file and I will place it inside the internal memory that is 2.82. This is the latest super user file 2.82. So this is the file which we will be using after uh, you have downloaded this file just reboot your device to TWRP recovery. So once your device boosts to TWRP recovery, you don't have to do anything uh, other than flashing super user file that is 2.82 and if you guys are flashing 2.79, this will give you boot loops. So to avoid this, make sure you flash 2.82. This is the latest super user file. Just confirm to flash and wait for the process to complete. After process is complete, just reboot system and you can install um, a root checker application to check whether your device is rooted or not. So the process has been completed, I just go back and reboot system. So once your device boots up, you will find in super user application installed, just go to play store and install root checker application. So I have already installed this, I just open it and check whether super user is So once I open this app, I get a message of grant permission, I allow permission and after this is done, you can see the message congratulations root access is properly installed on your device and if you guys face DM verity issue, I have also mentioned the video link in the description below, you can check out and solve the DM verity problem and uh, in that final uh, step, make sure you use the latest firmware which your device is running now. So as my device is running 4.1.5, so make sure you use 4.1.5 firmware only. But to use the commands, make sure you use 4.0.2 firmware. The same link has been mentioned in the description below. So, so that's all in this video guys. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.